Okay, I have a question for you. How does sand become a computer chip? I mean, the sand you find on a beach eventually powers your phone. I mean, everything AI related. It sounds wild, but here's how it actually happens. First up, it starts with silicon dioxide, basically sand, but cleaned and refined until it's 99.99999 continuous pure. And that's melted over 1400 degrees Celsius into a giant crystal called an ingot. It's then sliced thinner than paper into perfect mirror light wafers. And here's where it gets really crazy. Light, yes, literal light, is used to print billions of transistors onto those wafers. Machines from ASML fire ultraviolet light so precise it can carve patterns just a few nanometers wide, which to put in perspective is smaller than a virus, which is still hard to wrap your head around. Then each transistor acts like a tiny on off switch for electricity. Billions of them working together become the logic that powers every photo you take, every video you stream, every AI model running today. Then those wafers are cut into chips, tested, packaged, and end up inside everything from your phone to self-driving cars. I mean, to massive AI data centers. So the next time you hear about a big AI breakthrough, remember, it probably started as sand. Think about that next time you're on the beach. Share this with someone who loves tech.